I think every gardener uh, should ha should uh, make videos on uh, their uh, recent uh, harvest. And in my channel, I don't want to be an ex uh, exception. So uh, I'm going to slice open a couple of uh, different uh, tomatoes that I'm growing this uh, uh, year. Such as the, uh, uh, I think this one is called uh, yellow uh, brandy wine. I believe this one is the uh, red brandy wine. And this one right here, I think it's the uh, Cher Cherokee Purple. Um, <clears throat> I'm not really sure if this is the uh, red brandy wine or the uh, German Johnson. They have grown quite large. So we're gonna start with the, um, uh, let's just call it German Johnson. I'm gonna slide, slice it open to see how they look on the inside. And I'm not gonna be able to describe the taste of it but I'll try to do the best I can. This one right here, this is how it looks like on the inside. If anybody can help me out there to uh, be able to identify the, the, this uh, variety, since I didn't label it, I'm not really sure what it is, but I think it's the uh, German Johnson. And I'm gonna do a taste of it. I'm gonna slice it, that's the piece. Mm. very juicy as you can see very juicy and meaty very meaty not very acidic but it's very very super delicious all right so next contestant it's going to be this one, I believe. Um, man, I'm not sure if it's the uh, the uh, red brandy wine, or I'm gonna have to say that it is the red brandy wine. So we're gonna slice it open, and we're gonna see how it looks like on the inside, and we're also gonna taste it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, I think every every gardener should should have a, a video like it, tasting uh, and slicing their uh, tomatoes or whatever it is that you're growing in your yard. Slice slice it open and show it to the uh, viewers out there. I think it's quite interesting. All right, so this is how it looks like. This is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, red brandy wine. Uh, very similar to the uh, to the other one that we just sliced open. What? It, not, I'm confused. Either this is the German Johnson or the first one that I recorded uh, the uh, brandy wine. I need some help out there. Anyways, they look very similar. Um, they, they're not the same tomatoes, I can tell you that right now, because the, uh, the texture is different. This one has, uh, it, it's also meaty, but the other one was a lot more uh, juicier, and it had more, um, it was different, different in color. Now let's taste it. Let's just slice just a little piece, let me see how this one tastes like. Mmm. This one, it tastes very similar to the first one, um, but this one here is um, very, very similar. Uh, they, they may be the same tomato all the way around, but um, it's juicy, but it's not as sweet as the first one, so this may be a different tomato all the way around. And also, um, it's, um, it's not very acidic at all. And uh, it's also very meaty. Let's check the next one. All right, contestant number three is going to be the uh, the uh, yellow uh, brandy wine. I'm also not sure about this one being the yellow brandy wine because it's not uh, yellow, yellow, but 
it's not like the picture I, I saw on on eBay when I first bought the seed but compared to the other ones that I cut open this one's the only one that has more yellow to it so I'm gonna have to assume this is the uh, yellow brandy wine I'm gonna cut it slice it open and I have no idea how this one's gonna be it's gonna look like but it's gonna be very similar to the other two and as you can see uh, the color is different on the inside this one's more on the orange and yellow uh, side of it the texture of it is about the same as the uh, the first two uh, very meaty very meaty uh, lots of seed and um, I don't know that between the first one the second one the third one this one is definitely different they're the same the same in size as you can see this is a very these the three uh, tomatoes that I just uh, sliced open they are they are huge now let's have a taste of this bad boy Mm. very good very mild in taste compared to the first two uh, not a lot of juice on this one and uh, this one tastes uh, very much like the uh, tomatoes uh, that you would buy at the uh, at any box store like the Roma tomatoes or the ones that they sell at the, at the uh, store but nonetheless it's a very delicious tomato uh, very sweet Actually, no, this one's kind of mild in taste compared compared to the first two that we tasted. All right, now let's try the um, the uh, Cherokee Purple. This one, I have no doubt that it's the uh, Cherokee Purple because uh, it is purple, kind of pur purplish color on the top. And you will see, this one should be kind of, uh, it should be darker in color on the inside. So let's slice it open. So let's get right to it. Cherokee purple. This is the only one that I have no doubt that it's the uh, tomato that that I that I grew the Cherokee purple because uh, its color is very is different than the others. This one, as you can see, the texture is purple, it's kind of red on the uh, like towards the middle, and. This one here, for some reason, um, I already I gave away uh, some of them already that were uh, bigger than this one, than this uh, Cherokee Purple. But this is the only one that I had for the uh, video. Actually, I have more, but uh, they're all about the same size. So I don't think the Cherokee Purple is meant to grow uh, super large like the other ones. The other ones are about a pound and pound and a, a pound and a half for each one. But these, mo most of them that I've seen are about this size. So that's probably uh, how it's supposed to look like. But I have seen, uh, um, have um, gave away a couple of those that were also very big. So let's have a taste of this uh, Cherokee Purple. Let's see how it tastes. This one. It tastes, uh, it tastes, it has a good taste to it, and uh, it tastes just a little bit different than the other, than the rest of them, but um, it has a very good flavor, it's uh, kind of sweet, and for some reason all of the tomatoes that I'm growing, that I'm showing you guys uh, in, the, in this video, they're not very acidic at all. And uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but um, um, I don't think this is the type of tomato that, that you would wanna, want to add to your salads. Um, unless you want to add um, cilantro, onions, and, and, lem and, and lime or le lemon to give it more uh, acidic, acidic taste. Otherwise, I would just uh, eat them the way that they, they are, just with a little bit of salt, but they are, they are very super delicious tomatoes. Mmm, I like this one. <clears throat> Alright, so the next one that we're going to taste is the um, 
uh, boxcar wheelie. This one doesn't grow um, very big, so that I'm very sure that this one is the uh, boxcar wheelie. This one, um, it was, um, I, w I keep uh, watching a, a channel on YouTube, I forgot the name of it. Uh, it has a weird name, I said it's a name with numbers. And um, but the guy uh, live up north, and um, he grows uh, this type of tomatoes, and um, he says that they are delicious. So let's, let's, we're gonna have a taste right now. Once again, this is the uh, boxcar willy, and we, we're on a, we're gonna slice it open right now. All right. So last but not least, Boxcar Willie. Let's see how this thing looks. All right, so what's up with this tomato? Look at this. Hardly any um, any seed on it. It's mostly um, fruit. Uh, I need some help for you guys out there that are following my channel to uh, identify each one of the uh, tomatoes that we just uh, sliced open because um, I'm not sure I'm not sure if uh, they either sold me the uh, the wrong seed or maybe I need to do a better job labeling my tomatoes but um, boxcar willy here it is so um, let's have a taste of it and by the way guys uh, for you guys that follow follow my channel uh, I have not bought not one single plant this year. Everything has uh, has been grown from from seed that I purchased online, and all the seed that I buy is uh, heir heirloom. So I'm gonna be able to uh, propagate uh, these uh, tomatoes uh, next year uh, without having to spend any money. All right, so boxcar willy, it it does have a little bit of a, it has a mild flavor. But this one is more acidic comparing to the uh, big ones that I just uh, that we just tasted. Yeah, so this one here, very good in flavor, very acidic, very meaty, not a lot of juice on it, but um, it's a very good tomato, very very good. Uh, this is uh, probably the one that I would add to my salads, and um, I definitely recommend it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, there are two, two more, uh, three more varieties that uh, are still not uh, ripened yet, but um, I might make another video on those. Uh, I'm not really sure that if I showed the um, uh, yellow brandy wine, I'm not really sure if that was a yellow brandy wine, the one that we, that we just cut open. I think it was uh, number number three, but um, I think they're supposed to be yellow solid solid yellow color uh, according to the uh, the pictures online but uh, another one uh, variety that I have that I'm growing is the uh, uh, indigo indigo rose tomato that one I didn't want to include it on this video because um, that tomato you know it's, it doesn't taste like anything I mean it is a tomato I love the plant um, it's very easy to grow and it's the perfect perfect tomato plant except uh, it doesn't taste very well, so I didn't want to include it on my um, on this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, thank you for subscribing, and um, I will see you in the next one.